So tonight we're going to merge two ideas from my previous videos. Uh, we're going to start with the chunk map. Uh, if you remember, just basic rectangle rooms. And then we're also going to take a look at the smoothed map. If you remember, it makes cavern type structures. And we're going to try and put both of those ideas into a single map. Now the end result that we'll be looking for will look something like this, where we have clean rectangle rooms with caverns. Now, in an actual game, you'd probably take the time to make the caverns look different than the rooms. You could have brick for the rooms and then dirt for the caverns. You could also generate different types of enemies in the different types of rooms, have different types of treasure, whatever you want. But the idea is that there are rooms that are different. And so uh, I'm only going to do the chunk map and the smoothed map. And really, I mean, you can do this with all of them. You can put all of the different types of maps that you could possibly think of into uh, this format. But I'm just going to show you how to do two to start with. So there's a lot of code that's just copied. There really isn't any new code. Uh, from the smoothed map, we have this code because we need these variables to make the code work. Uh, most of the code from the chunk map really is unchanged, so I just folded it all up. So we'll take a look at the draw rooms. Uh, it's about the only thing I changed in the chunk map script. We're going to pick a random number between 0 and 1, and then we'll match that number to decide whether we want to make a simple room or a smooth room. Now you could easily add extra numbers into this system, and uh, from other videos that I made or other ideas that you have. So the one thing that is a little bit different though with the functions is I changed the, instead of just make map, I made it to make simple room because we'll only be affecting a single room opposed to going through all the rooms in the map. I thought the wording made a little bit more sense, but we also have to pass a variable of the room that we are currently working on from the from the loop that are from the for loop that we have in draw rooms, which will send through the function here and pass it on to the appropriate places that we need to have it. So in the smoothed map code, this is all pretty much just copied and pasted, except instead of having the current map size, I changed everything to room. Every time you see current map size, you change it to room. Because again, we don't want to smooth the whole map, we just want to smooth the current room that we're working on. So uh, we make a smoothed room. Uh, I technically only smoothed it twice, I believe. So uh, the, my number of smooths is two in my previous video. I think I did four times. But uh, the concept is pretty simple. I just thought it looked better with two smooths for this example, but this one would be room.size, because we can't just turn it to room.x, because that doesn't really make sense, because this is uh, the room variable that we're passing along is a rect2, so it doesn't really have just a simple x, it has a size and a uh, beginning, a position, and an end. Uh, so make sure you get room.size where you need it, and also just room.positions instead of uh, just putting it in the X and Y spots. Uh, you'll notice the difference between the code and what it looks like is this.